Hey, what's going on guys? I have a question for you. Do you think that YouTube changed the gaming community for the better or for the worst? Because uh, today's topic, I wanted to talk to you guys about how I think YouTube has formed what now is gaming in 2013. Um, so let's get right on to this. So uh, if you guys don't follow Wings of Redemption's channel, uh, he is a 400,000 subscriber YouTube channel. Uh, he posted a video a few days ago, and he actually posted a couple um, on how he would play Call of Duty if YouTube wasn't around. And the way he explained it was actually very logical. He would, he said that he would probably camp more. He said that he would just play it the way he wanted to play. It. And why is that? Because nobody would there, be there to judge him. People go on YouTube to search up these awesome gameplays. Um, they want to search up 100 pluses, two, maybe even 200 pluses. They want to see swarms in the air. They want to see load stars going ham. They don't want to see somebody sit in a corner with claymores and target finders and shock charges, because that's all people complain about in the game. So why would, um, why on earth would a YouTuber want to post that? Well, they don't, and that's because the people on YouTube have forced it that way. We don't actually understand how much power we have on the internet. Uh, when when people um, post 100 pluses and we like that video, and there's about 5,000 likes on that. That means that they they're gonna post more. Why? Because it's gonna get more attention. It's gonna get more viewers. It's gonna get more subscribers. Um, oh, I know a lot of lot of gaming channels um, who have simply just grown off the fact of these hundred plus gameplays on Black Ops 2. I'm referring to. Um, there's a lot of good commentators that may not have the best content uh, gaming wise, but people like them for their commentaries. Those people have to be pretty special. Uh, I, I would deem myself as a, as a pretty good commentator, obviously still have a lot to learn, but I don't think I'm the guy that you could watch a black screen and just listen to him for an hour. Um, I can't really name a, a couple guys off the top of my head right now, but that is a pretty unique skill. A lot of times people have to grow off of gameplays. Um, People, sometimes people don't even care if they're good at commentating and they don't care about their gameplays. Um, but ba basically, what I'm trying to get to here is, get to here is, I don't know if that is even a religious sentence. I'm saying this pretty fast right now. But um, I just think people um, will post with uh, what people want to see, and that is obviously true, guys. Uh, deeming that a lot of people are just trying to post these high-scoring gameplays. I think commentary has dropped a lot. Just because of gameplays, people see other people like JNasty720. They see people like um, Green Goblin HD posting these ridiculous gameplays, and that's what they want to go to because they think that that'll grow channels. That obviously does grow channels, but I think people are missing the whole point of commentaries nowadays. Honestly, guys, I think it's so boring when people commentate over um, a 100 plus. You know. Uh, telling you guys what they're doing, like every single move they're they're putting into this uh, gameplay, and I on I honestly just don't agree with it. I just think it's missing the concept of commentating. Commentating is getting your point across, just talking about some random topics with your subscribers or something. But I don't think that YouTube is gearing, um, gaming in the right direction. That was a big uh, uh, topic swing, swing, but um. I think uh, YouTube is just changing the way people want to play the games. Um, for example, like Wings of Redemption said, if there was no YouTube, there would be nobody to judge him. So he wouldn't care if he would camp, he would just do it because he enjoys doing it. You don't have to necessarily um, be a YouTuber and do what you don't really enjoy doing, um, but it, unfortunately that's what grows YouTube channels. Getting away from YouTube, people just really don't like the graphics anymore, guys. Um, when I I, know, I remember in like 2005 when I was like five years old. Um, I remember when I got my first GameCube. I didn't care what, what TV I played on. I didn't care uh, how good or crappy the ga uh, the console was. I just played it because it was enjoyable to me. Because Mario and Sonic and all the other good games back in the day were just so fun to play. Um, people are just uh, really missing the concept. They're just playing Call of Duty, Minecraft, and all these other popular games, Dead Space 3. But they're missing the point. Have fun with video games. It doesn't matter what gameplay you get, guys. I know it's hard for me. But if you're a YouTuber, don't stress too much about the gameplay. Just remember, it is a game. Have fun with it. And uh, let your imagination go wild, especially with Minecraft. Anyways, if you did like this video, please hit the like button. And uh, see you I'll see you guys later.